Hello everyone, Geraldicus here. Today I'm going to be doing a guide for Star-Lord class. Star-Lord class is only available to people who have purchased membership in MechQuest. If you guys want to check it out, I'll be posting the uh, MechQuest link in the description so you guys can play it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, basically, for Star-Lord class, I'm going to be going over enhancements, skills, uh, techniques for PvP, all kinds of junk. So just hold tight and let's get started. Alright, to actually buy Starlord Class, you're going to need to come here to Tower. You're going to walk to the left, and then to the left again, to the room where you can buy Dragon Lord and Star Lord and Guardian. You're going to talk here to Corrin, and you're going to open his shop. And Star Lord's going to be right here for 5,000 gold. It's a non-member class. You also get the Captain's Plasma Blade, Captain's Laser Prime, which is a swag sword. Look at it. Defender Class, which comes with all of the Verification Classes. Uh, color Custom Star-Lord Armor, Star-Lord Original, and Star-Lord Prime, and Star-Lord Visor, which goes with Star-Lord Prime and the Star-Lord Laser Prime. So, that's how, that's where you get it. Now we're going to go do Enhancements and Passives. Alright, for Enhancements with Star-Lord, um, personally, I change my Enhance up with this class a lot because it's so versatile and it has so many things going for it and so many little bitty uh, things that can change with it. So I'm just going to give you a few uh, enhancements that you guys can try out and see which ones you like best. The first one is full luck. A lot of PvPers use full luck that I've met and ran into and asked about. And uh, full luck is really good if you're facing dodge classes or you want to do high damage really fast. Another enhancement is luck on your weapon, cape, and helm, and then a thief on your armor. Which I'm here because you can get both luck from Cicero and you can come downstairs and to the right I got stuck on that bar and get thief here from Metria so that's why I'm here in yoga but that's another enhancement and that's the one I use most often because I don't have to change up my weapon a lot because I use luck on a lot of weapons because many classes require at least one luck and I use my weapon for it because it has a very higher percentage of all the stats than like your cape or your helm so that's a third one. That's I think that's what I'm gonna be. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be using during this class guide is luck on your weapon, helm, and cape, and then thief on your class. And another enhancement I've used often is a fighter on your weapon, thief on your class, and then luck on your cape and your um, helm. And it works decently good for me because I just like that one. I don't know why, but it seems like it dodges better than um, two thief and two luck. Now we get to get into the actual class. Alright, Star-Lord class has a lot in common with Rogue. It has the same basic stat build. It has the same mana regeneration techniques, which also means when it dodges, it regains a little bit of health back. Uh, as you can see, this uh, weapon I'm using is not exactly the stablest one. I think I'll change. Uh, yeah, I'll change to something more stable. There we go. Same enhancement, I promise, just different uh, weapon range. So you guys can see the average of what Star-Lord will hit. Now let's look at your passives. Your first passive is called Evasive Maneuvers. Dodge chances increased by 15%. Now that's incredible. That now That's incredible because that'll uh, boost my dodge up to around like 41%. 42% because of the .94 that I forgot about right here. So that's going to boost my evasion way up. And your second passive is called Locked On. Hit chance increased by 5% and critical strike chances increased by 10%. So as you can see, Starlord has some really, really great passives. Uh, but unfortunately, because it was one of the older classes, it does not have a rank 10 passive. Alright, moving on to the actual skills now. Your first skill is called Pulse Compression. And it costs 20 mana, has a 3 second cooldown, and is a physical skill. By the way, all of Star-Lord's skills are physical, don't worry. That's why it's good with uh, Thief. A moderately powerful ranged attack applies pulse compression, reducing the target's haste by 15% for 6 seconds. So it's going to slow them down considerably, and it's also going to do decent damage. So let's just show you now. It's going to non-crit 238 with the stable weapon. It's going to crit around 696. That's weird, that's kind of low. I usually crit 700 with it. But as you see, um, because of the passes and everything, Star-Lord dodges a lot, and it also crits a lot. Now, your second skill is called Pulse Dilation. 
25 mana, again, 10 second cooldown, physical skill. If pulse compression is present on the target, it deals heavy damage. Otherwise, it applies shearing, a 3 second stun, but deals no damage. So, first I'm going to show you um, a big hit with a combination of pulse compression and then pulse dilation. And I missed. Alright, well, we'll just show you the stun. Alright, see so shearing, he's stunned. I got spiral cough. Alright, now I'll show you. Apply pulse compression. And then pulse dilation. Leg. Alright, so non crits around 378. I don't know why I'm lagging so bad right now. But there's the uh, stun and the higher hitter. I wish I could get it to crit. Uh, I'll, I'll try to later. Alright. Your third skill is called Energy Arc. It costs 15 mana, has a 3 second cooldown, is also a physical skill. Big surprise. Emits a burst of energy that will hit up to 3 targets. Also applies loose energy, a moderate DOT to each. Now, the class says moderate, but it's actually pretty low. Uh, but I'll show you. And it is AoE, so it's useful in uh, Blood Rut Brawl situations. I'll show you now. Alright, so you get a 40 DOT on both. Just keep applying it until they're dead. It hits roughly about the same as your auto attack would. Maybe a little bit lower. Not much. Okay. Now, your final skill is a heal. It's not high, but it combined with your dodge heal will be sufficient enough. Now. It's called High Energy Arc, which is much very similar to Energy Arc, but it's High Energy Arc. Costs 20 mana, 12 second cooldown, physical skill. Emits a burst of energy that will hit up to 3 targets, dealing less damage with each bounce. Returning part of the damage dealt as HP if the target is affected by Pulse Compression. So to get the heal, you have to have used Pulse Compression on the target, or you will not get any health back. So let's just use it. Lose a little bit of health. Alright, here we go. See, I healed quite a bit. Mm, I'm going to try to get a uh, pulse dilation crit right here. Ah, no crit. Sad face. Okay, well, that's the skills. I will get a crit and I will post it right here with... There we go, there's a Pulse Dilation crit. Crits are about 1000, maybe a little bit higher. And it's going to be very useful if you have a longer, ra higher ranged weapon, sorry. Because that'll, that could hit much higher. But it could also hit lower, that's the risk you take. Alright guys, so that's Star Lord class. I hope you guys uh, like it and hope you get it because it's a really, really fun class to use. It has a lot of different um, choices and uh, options, so that makes it decent. The actually really good, I'm not even going to lie. It's really good in one versus one because it's a lot of fun to use and you can apply so much to the enemy. Lower their haste, stun them, uh, put a DOT on them, regain a lot of health, dodge the crap out of them. It's a lot of fun in both 1v1 and Blood Rep Brawl because it has two uh, AoE attacks, which are high energy arc and energy arc. I wouldn't recommend it for boss battles unless it's like a smaller boss because it can't push out the high damage that other classes can, but it can do okay with a healer and it doesn't have a massive heal so it might be a really good idea to keep a bard with you as well. Star Lord would be fine for taking through the storyline because it's just nice and fast and has nice cooldowns and uh, low energy costs and high dodge and all these different things. It's really one of my favorite classes to use. I like it a whole lot because non-member I can use it as wherever I want. It's good for a lot of different situations. I wouldn't use it for farming too much because although it does have two AoE attacks, because there's so many other classes that can farm faster than Star Lord class. But anyway, that is Star Lord class. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you don't like the video, please comment and tell me why. Uh, I'll leave my Twitter in the description so you guys can uh, follow me. I'll follow you back. Uh, I'd like to hear you guys' opinions with Star-Lord and any kind of enhancements or techniques for PvP. I'd like to improve myself. If I got something wrong, please tell me, because that'll help me get better too. This guide was actually asked for by a friend uh, 
Sandor, Bellevue Reject. A lot of you might know him. He's big on PvP and all this different thing. And I haven't seen him online in a long time. But hopefully that'll change. If you don't have the class, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, if you do have the class, again, post me your enhancements and all this kind of stuff. Because I like to see them. Please comment what uh, class you would like to see me do next. Because I'm really uh, just kind of taking them as they go. Uh, anytime I get asked, I do my best to get the video out as soon as I can. So... If you want me to do a certain class, if I don't have it, I will find it. So, just ask, and we'll see what we can do, and I'll get it out as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Jevo is out.